Uh, we've got some weather coming in and the new boat, uh, the diesel tank is out. So I really don't want the mooring to break free and not have any tackle over there. So I'm bringing over some tackle that I have from Arda, which is way overkill for Arda. So it'll be comfortable for the BCC, but not quite overkill like I like it, but it'll still be okay. Um, in the meantime, I'm leaving it some tackle over here on Arda and I just turned the motor on to make sure the motor works fine, which is working fine. And yeah, so I'm gonna get the new boat ready for a, some potential inclement weather. Motor is running. And let's just test it and make sure it revs up. Yeah. Switch us into gear. That's all I need to know on this end. Turn it off, tilt it back up. So glad this tilt trim works. Thank you, Brock. All of my anchor tackle is in here. And I like my Delta because it does well when it needs to reset. It When it reset with the category one Hurricane Nicole that went right over, the eye went right over us. This held fine, but my Danforth style actually fouled. And if there's going to be any potential for resetting, I would like to have the one that doesn't foul. So that's the one that I'm gonna bring. Arda is gonna be fine. She only weighs 5,200 pounds. I'm not too worried about her. And I do have an old CQR that somebody gave me. I've never used it before, but it's got a complete tackle set up. And I'll probably just leave that one along with the Danforth style on this boat. This is the part that I don't like on this road and it's right near here. And just with the heavier boat, I would rather have the braided and keep the three strand on Arda. Now I have this road, which is what I want. Using water first. Oh, my goodness. I suppose I could disconnect it from the anchor. This anchor is now set up on Arda, and I just have to put seizing wire on the shackle. And I am bringing this over to the new boat. Pretty windy out here with the trades, so I am recording this, but this is the anchor that I have over here. It looks pretty good. I did measure, well, she's got a CQR um, over there as well, but I've never really used one before. The chain, I measured it, it's about 20 feet, which is a little too short in my opinion. I'm gonna use this as a backup. She had 60 feet of three strand. The Delta is set up. I coiled up my braided 
road and my chain and it's going through the side of the boat the right way and that is the Ballantine for the Danforth style with the three strand. I noticed the other day when after it started raining that I was getting a little bit of water inside and it's coming from the bolt and the solution to that I asked a friend he said I could put beetle tape on the screws and that will be a temporary fix until I can redo it and bevel it out and seal it in properly. And yep. I've succeeded in figuring out how to use beetle tape without it sticking to my fingers. And basically I spit on my fingers and then I tear off the beetle tape and then I put it on and I'm gonna go back around and squish it all down. Here's a big thanks to JD and David in the harbor who both had beetle tape and let me use it because I didn't have time to order any before the storm came through. It's the dry season right now in the Dominican Republic and we're about to get a lot of rain from Franklin, Tropical Storm Franklin. And I wanted to make, there's no water damage to the tow rail or anything right now and I wanna keep it that way. I just finished putting the beetle tape on and <laughs> you can see I already did the work because my lips are stained black <laughs> from spitting on my fingers. <laughs> I asked the harbor if anybody could come out and help me back down on my boat on my mooring because I don't have a working motor to do it right now with the diesel tank out and these people are helping me do that with their dinghy. And now then it's the next day and it's bright and early in the morning and I'm coming out when it's dead calm so that way I can tie up the wind generator before the wind starts picking up and there's a blade off. I have to tie the wind generator blades down before the wind comes in. So I woke up, as soon as I woke up I came over here. Because uh, if it gets really windy those blades could fly off and kill somebody. I tied a clove hitch and two half hitches there, did a couple turns, and then another clove hitch, two half hitches there, and then tied it back down. And the whole thing just moves. Now the boat's pretty much ready for the storm to come through. It's my bladder bag I have to put down below. It's so heavy though. And two anchors. I cannot wait to sail this boat. It's so peaceful out here this morning. That's how it always is in the mornings. And then the wind picks up in the afternoon. I'm just gonna move this. I'll keep it centered. Let's tie it down. They've got it down over there.
port and starboard pushers and stern pusher. Probably gonna go over to the mangroves. With this storm coming, I'm going to loosen the jib sheets a little bit so that way I can put a couple more wraps on the roller furler. But to do that, I need to go up and wind a couple more wraps on the spool up there because as you can see, it's maxed out. Because I haven't gotten my microphone yet and it is pretty windy in the background, I'll just go ahead and update you in case you aren't following on Patreon. I was visiting some friends in Porta Plata for two days, but I ended up getting pretty sick and was there for two weeks trying to get rid of some parasites. And then after taking the course of antibiotics and antiparasites, I came back to Luperon and got retested and still had the parasites, so they put me on a new medication but hopefully that's getting under control and now that i'm back in the harbor i've started to work on some boat projects and i'm also very grateful for all of the people who have ordered off of my amazon wish list so far i've gotten some electrical stuff and that's going to come in really handy when i go to redo the entire interior of the boat and set it up so that way i can actually live on it comfortably so i really appreciate all of that help I think I'm selling Arda next week and that money is going to go towards a lot of projects that I have planned for the haul out. I didn't feel comfortable bringing my phone up, but I took the line through the pad eye and wrapped it around the spool a couple times so that way when I pulled back on the roller furler it would wind the spool up even more and the jib sheet would wrap around the roller furler and I still have one extra wrap around the, the spool at the bottom. It's not predicted to be terrible, but I am erring on the side of caution, especially with a boat that doesn't have a working motor right now.